Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Windows 10 or Windows 11 desktop is crashing regularly or it's just acting unresponsive. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in order to identify hopefully what the issue is, if you want to open up the search menu, type in Event Viewer. Best match should come back with Event Viewer. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the Windows Logs section, and then there should be a system folder on the left side. On the right side, look where you're having the timing of the crash and see if there's any information regarding the crash information. So look at the date and time settings, and then you would see a little description as to if there was a particular program or process that was causing your system to crash, in which case then you could take steps to mitigate or prevent that from happening again, whether by removing the program or contacting support, or you know, preventing whatever action appears to have been causing that particular issue from occurring. Something else we can try here as well, if you just close out of there and open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And I will have a couple commands in the description of my video here. Go ahead and copy the first one, it's a DISM scan. And then go to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select that and paste it in. Hit enter to begin that scan, just give it a couple minutes to run. Okay, once that has completed, go ahead and copy and paste the second command. It's a system file checker utility scan and go ahead and run that. And once it has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.